Welcome to this introduction to our video tutorials on time domain effects. Time domain effects are created by making single or multiple copies of a source sound, delaying the copies in time and then mixing the two together. The primary effects are phasing, flanging, Chorus, Automatic Double Tracking, Slap Back, Echo, and conventional delay effects. All of these effects can be created with a simple delay line. The term delay line describes any process in which a source sound is copied and delayed in time. Technologies and techniques include Tape delay, which utilises the time gap between the record and repro heads of a tape recorder. Solid state analog delay processors, such as pre-digital guitar delay pedals. Digital delay processors. Digital delay and tape echo plugins. And duplicating a door track and delaying the duplicate. Reverberation is also a time domain effect, but because of its complexity it cannot easily be created with simple delay lines, and is therefore considered as a separate category of effect. Whilst time domain effects can be created with only a few copies, reverb typically requires hundreds or thousands of echoes. Echo, delay and reverberation share common properties but differ subtly. Echo is often defined as individually distinct repeats, separated from the original sound by a gap of at least 50 to 70 milliseconds. They occur naturally in the real world and were first simulated electronically in the studio with tape recorders. In the studio, the term echo refers to a delay line that simulates the behaviour and character of echoes in nature, including the way in which high harmonic frequencies decay faster than low frequencies. Reverberation is the combined effect of multiple individual echo reflections the first of which are usually separated from the source sound by a gap of less than 50 milliseconds, but not always. Delay is a generic term for the technological creation of repeats. A digital delay line will sample and repeat endlessly if necessary an almost exact duplicate of the source sound. The script for this tutorial, along with accompanying images, can be found at our website projectstudiohandbook.com. We suggest you subscribe at our YouTube channel and join our mailing list at our website to receive notification of new videos, blog posts and subscriber-only extras. Thanks for watching.